Hello, welcome to West Enemy Sims. My name is Kelvin, and how are you doing? We are back with another retro review. This time, we are at Blue Water Village from Open for Business Expansion Pack. Now, you have not seen any of my rating of other neighborhood Sims 2. The links down in the description as well as the playlist. So let's get started with Blue Water Village. Now, Blue Water Village has ten residential lots. Uh, five of them have been occupied, another five are unoccupied and whopping 23 community lots. So community lots will be split into two parts. So let's get started with our first house. Would be there will be 15 Lake Meadow Circle lived by the Della Rosa. So Florence Della Rosa is a home business owner selling plants and a florist. So as you walk into her house, you'll be in the shop front. But check out the outside. Wow, there's a lot of landscaping going on. I really like the lily pads and also the cattails surrounding the lake. That's really nice. And there's a lot of flower beds here. And the trees. Okay, the trees are a little bit of a mix. Maple and pine trees. That's a little bit weird. Here there's a bird. And then at the back they have some desert plants and also palm tree. I guess they are trying to make every three species of the tree this in this lot. And over on the side here we have the side uh, backyard with lounge chairs and circling around the tree. Not sure, sure what how I feel about the different species of trees existing at the same lot. But looking at the inside here the shop front, we have a lot of space of a lot of plants for sale, for the plants, a lot of variety over here. And behind the cash register, we have a flower arranging stand that's a feature from Open for Business. So, you walk into the living space, we can see there's a really nice living room area with, uh, I like the carpeting they chose. It's always a plus to include that carpeting pattern and the Moroccan style living sofa set and the kitchen looks pretty nice actually quite cohesive with the dark browns and blacks and at the bedroom is blue with red tones I think this is pretty nice with a little bit of an Asian team, Chinese team going on. And the bathroom, which is decent enough. We actually have two bathrooms. One is for the guest bathroom. I think the guest bathroom can be a little bit more smaller. And the bathroom can be a bit more bigger for the master bathroom. Looking from the outside, it looks squarish, boxy, but okay. And I don't think I'm a fan of double roof like that. Okay, overall, it's a decent start to Blue Water Village. Um, I'm not really a fan of the multiple different species of plants existing in the same lot. Looks too weird to be realistic. Yeah, the roofing is not also not my favorite as well. But uh, the inside has a really nice, cohesive colors and color scheme. So I'm going to make this house a decent 8. Our next lot is 32 Eagle Lane, we live by the Tinkers. So Tinker doesn't have a business, I think it's the only one do not have a business, but they seem to have a setup uh, at the back, uh, you shall see later. But looking at the house first, um, the hallway is kind of empty with just a piano and a kitchen, it looks pretty nice. Uh, we have a bathroom at the corner over there. I would think they can afford to have a full-size dining room in the middle to have a centerpiece in the hallway. Meanwhile, in the living room area, hmm, not so sure about the green cushions being fitting to the yellow and the dark blue uh, thought carpeting. Oh, actually, they have actually have a dining room set at the back with pool yellow wallpaper. Again, why do they love to do kitchen and dining rooms so far apart from each other? 
it's kind of weird. Okay, upstairs here, whoa, the gym is really bright and not fitting with the rest of the house. And I believe this is the master bedroom. It looks pretty okay with um I would think I would change the carpet colors a little bit. And over on the hallway, we have the telescope over here and I yeah they didn't the gap so large they should could have just seal it and put a railing to seal it off much nicer and the corner over here which is all black I would assume that's the daughter's bedroom more modern uh furnishing although I would put a ni nicer desk a more modern desk for her as you look into the outside over here, they actually have a small workshop of making toys with shelving over here. So there's kind of an indication that they are quite ready for having their owning a business by setting up shop. Okay, from the outside, it looks pretty generic. I do like it is not overly done with a nice swing set. Uh, landscape is a bit bare in the middle, I would say. I think it is potential for expansion for the business. Okay, this house is not really my favorite, but uh, but there is some good things going on in this house. So I'm not too overly mad about the design of the house overall. It is a nice suburban home, I would say. So I'm going to rate this house a seven. Our next house is 74 Gondola Way who is lived by none other than the land grabs. So Malcolm Landgrab the fourth is living in this giant mansion. Let's see what he has over here. Okay, from let's start from the living room where he is. It's pretty decent and we have a uh, over on the side here we have a swimming pool and also a hot tub. I would say that's an indoor pool. Over here we have uh, some bathrooms as well. We have an empty hallway with just a random armchair and an end table. That's good. And over on this corner we have a full dining room set with the carpeting of my favorites. And at the back here we have a behind the bar will be access to the kitchen. The kitchen looks pretty nice with dark nice colors with early tones. Over the, this side here we have an empty garage but there's no driveway. I assume um, you can add your own driveway for Malcolm to have a car and have a garage over there because um, garages own, and cars only exist in nightlife and open for business it doesn't. Okay, let's look upstairs. We have a hallway leading to the bedroom, which is surprisingly very bare for a house like that. We have an office that looks a bit more nicer than his bedroom. I don't know why. And that have access to a large balcony at the back over there. I'm not a fan of the oddly shaped balcony at the back, but the front looks pretty nice. Okay, looking from the outside, I do wonder why they chose the uh, white siding to be painted as a mansion's house, which is a bit weird. Um, layout is a bit interesting, but I do think there are some pieces are a bit out of place. So overall, I don't really, not really a big fan of this house, but in general, this house is pretty nice. But a lot of odd fun choices that just wounds the so-called mansion. Malcolm land grab land grabs should be rich and really rich doesn't being rich doesn't buy good taste. So I'm going to rate this house an 8. Our next house is 146 Pebble Drive, lived by the Ramirez. Okay, this is looks in like a pretty decent looking house. We have living room being pretty simple and cohesive yet and the dining and kitchen space is pretty basic wood flooring with 
beige and light wood and a formal dining room although I don't know why they put an Asian mask inside this mission dining room which is weird and I also think the chair cushion and the flooring and also the wall none of them match I think the cushion can go well with the wall paper but I think a better carpeting would be a choice we also have a bathroom in front let's check out the backyard we have a lemonade stand it's pretty cute for the daughter to start off we have a business, we have a nice swing set and some flower trees around the yard. Let's move up upstairs and the master bedroom is a little bit small and a little bit bare. I don't really fancy the uh, bed sheet, it looks pretty by default, it looks very bland. Uh, the bathroom is looks pretty okay. I do like the compact space of the stud office and also the daughter's room could be a little bit brighter rather than having just grey carpeting. I would think light pink would look good on the whole as a whole. And the office could have used some bookshelves at the back to make it more interesting. Bathroom is pretty okay. Let's check out on the outside. It looks pretty Decent, I really like the roofing. It's pretty uh, interesting, uh, although they keep it very simple and yet they make quite dynamic slope on one side of the house, which is a welcoming addition of the layout. Okay, I'm surprisingly liking this house a lot, better than a lot of these houses. Um, it's generic suburban, but you give a little bit of flair of this house. So I'm also giving this house an 8. Our next house is 223 Idlewood Street with by the jacket. So jackets uh, are a mother and son living in this house. Um, before you check out inside, wow! Somebody has a lot of time watering these flower beds. Looks pretty nice. I like the pathway to the flower bed area which is pretty good let's move on to the inside um the wooden deck and the metal uh, railing it doesn't really match me <laughs> and as well as the iron fencing uh, iron stairway looks really odd but on the inside um a pretty decent living room i would say um the kitchen looks a little bit vanilla and I don't know whose bedroom is. It feels really weird to have air sculpture inside the bedroom and imagine this pink teddy bear just stares you wake up. Bathroom is pretty functional and okay. Let's check out the upstairs. Looks like it has a loft bedroom. I don't know who is live, uh, sleeping in which one. My guess the mom is sleeping downstairs which is even more creepier than I thought it would be. Upstairs this loft bedroom looks pretty nice. Although I won't put it as a loft bedroom, I would put a hallway to have a private, more private bedroom. From the outside, the roofing is um hmm. Not too sure about the roofing on the side of the house. It has a big uh, angling on the side. But on the top, the gable roof is pretty alright, I would say. Overall, this house, I want to like this house. But at the same time, there are a lot of things that I do not like. Like the colouring, like the design, and also the choices of the textures of the wood. So yeah, this is a top one. Not too great and not too bad either, so I'm going to give this lot a 7. Moving on to 7 carriage lane. So we have a starter home okay we have a decent little entryway to the living room and dining room area and we have a kitchen bathroom looks pretty all right and a single bed for a bedroom at back with it leads to a backyard although i would say it the styling is a little bit too bland outside 
It is a plain white siding house with a tree as the as counts as a landscaping. Okay, it is a pretty decent size uh, starter home to start off with. Um, nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy about it. So it is a nice start. So starter homes usually don't get very high scores in my experience. So this house gets thick. Our next lot is 22 Toboggan Way. Okay, now we have another case of using glass railings with wooden this old wooden flooring, which is really a mismatch. Um, and then we just see here we have entry on the side here, leading to the kitchen and bath, uh, kitchen and dining area, which is teal walls. Um, not too sure why the teal wall start up off right in the middle, but it's not exactly at the start of the kitchen area. And then living room over here, at the center here, there's a random room in the middle that walks face towards towards the end here. With lime green bathroom with lemon yellow wall, with two bedrooms over here, and then we have an entryway on the front here. It is weird. I don't really like the layout of this house because it forces the same to be in one direction. That's not an ideal design for me. Okay, from the outside, it doesn't look any better. We have just grey, uh, flat, textured wallpaper with a flat roof and the design. Mm, Okay, that's a lot of things to complain about this house. Um, totally not a lot. Uh, totally not my not a fan, and it's really boring as well. So I have to give this lot a five. Now the next lot is twenty five Toboggan Way. Okay, this lot is pretty interesting because the ground floor is actually a bedroom and a bathroom, but you can't access it directly. You have to go this on the second floor up, go to the main front door of the house. I do like they use uh, glass cases to make it a bit more modern. Again, another case of modern rates glass railing with wooden flooring deck. And we have a lake at the back at the corner there. Upstairs, we have some checkerboard linoleum floors with black and white kitchen with a dining room here so on the outside this reminds me a lot like each of vacation homes rather than an actual starter home if they change up the uh, the wall and flooring a little bit better okay um not a bad house i would say an interesting concept but what is with this Boring white sidings man. Yeah, it's totally not matching the whole modern vibe. I'm gonna give this house a six. Our next lot is 33 Gondola Way. Alright, we have a house over here with an empty living room area with a nice kitchen area and a dining room area. The back has a patio. Moving upstairs, we have a loft area, bath, a bedroom, and also a bathroom over here. Okay, up on the outside is just a big block with industrial red brick with flat roofing. Okay, I know what they are trying to do in this house. Um, some simmers like to use this as a Starter for home business, we have a large living space down there that can be converted as a shop area. And then you have a privacy of your bedroom on top as a loft. Um not really a fan of the whole blocky uh, layout of this design. So I have to give this lot, but it's a pretty good lot nonetheless. So I give this lot seven. Our final lot is 407 Edgewater Parkway. Okay, finally a more larger house. 
and the wallpaper is really interesting um, over on this side of the house we have a carpeted area I would assume that's a dining room area we have the kitchen fully furnished with cream yellow counters and a dining set at the side back there we have a back room with a access to the back deck Upstairs is where all the bedrooms are. The master bedroom is looking pretty long. And we have a bathroom at the corner over there. Interestingly, they always use wood flooring for bathrooms. And then we have two bedrooms over on this side. Upstairs, we even have another. Even further up, we actually have a space for a living room or a TV room or you can use it as a hobbies room that has access to a nice balcony looking from the outside uh, it does scream barbie door dollhouse to me and the roofing it has a little bit dodgy in places especially the octagonal roof and some purple awnings for the decks the balcony roofing Okay, overall this is one of the better houses of Blue Water Village which is not saying much because a lot of starter homes and the houses here on Blue Water Village is not very impressive but I think I have to give credit for uh, EA to try out something new more of a storybook dollhouse type which I have a link at the back I forgot to mention Anyway, this house gets a rating of 8. Okay, here are all my ratings for this house residential lots in Blue Water Village. What do you guys think? Please leave me a comment. Overall, it's not very looking very impressive to me. By far, the residential lots are not that good. Um, none of them have 9 or even 10. Um, also, what I've seen so far, like Belladonna Cole and also the base game neighborhood, they all have a distinctive style. Apparently, Blue Water Village struggles to find a niche style they have in this neighborhood. But anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to West Enemy Sims for more updates on retro Sims content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned for part 2, and bye bye!